Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Travel is opening up to New Zealand, and if you're even considering coming to New Zealand, you definitely should. And so this video is gonna go through some of the things that I think Americans need to know before they come to New Zealand some insider tips for you today. And if you don't know who I am, we are a family of six that have moved to New Zealand from the US and kind of share our journey. If you wanna reach out to me on KiwiAmericans.com on my website, um, I do have services where I can help people if they're traveling here or moving here. I'd like to hear from you. I'm here to help you on everything you need to know about New Zealand. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this video. Here we go. Okay, number one, the phrase that you're probably going to hear the second you get off the plane that's going to be like, what is sweet as with one S, one S, I got that confused. Sweet as, it means like you order something and they'll say sweet as, they say it after a lot of things and it's just really noticeable. It's like probably the first thing that I noticed when I got off the plane and they actually add as to a lot of words. So don't be surprised about that, but sweet as is the most common and it just, it's just like, okay, cool. Awesome. You know, I'm whatever it is that you're asking, they're going to do it for you. So just be aware of the sweet as with one S. Number two, after you've been in New Zealand for a while, you will notice that the Kiwis are very, very good at saying no in a very non-confrontational, almost laid back way. They'll say, yeah, nah, when they, when they mean no, I'll be like, yeah, nah, you know, like that. But it's real casual, it just makes you, it's not like that harsh, no, right? But if they say, yeah, nah, yeah, that means yes. So make sure you listen for it, cause it, you know, if you didn't catch the last yeah, you might think they said no. Anyway, yeah, nah, no. Yeah, nah, yeah, it means yes. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a huge tip for you. Also, they have a great way of saying clearly uh, what they think about a situation. They use the phrase, I can't be bothered. Another way to say no, in a, I, I like it because it actually communicates more. It actually, it's not that um, I'm not willing to do it. I just don't really wanna. It's saying more than just no. It's saying, I actually don't really want to do it. <laughs> and it's not necessarily said to you directly. It's what they'll say to other people or whatever. Yeah, I can't be bothered with that. Da, da, da. I love that phrase. You're going to love this phrase. Now, number three, when you travel to New Zealand, and hopefully when you get here, you're planning lots of travel, lots of driving around and seeing this beautiful, beautiful country. But know this, the best things in New Zealand are at the end of a gravel road. It's true. If you are on a map and you're going to a particular destination and you're driving on a road and then it turns to gravel, you're in the right place. You're about to find something amazing because all of the best stuff. It's like, it's like you get to a point where you feel like maybe we're in the wrong place. You've been driving on the gravel for a while. You're like, this can't be right. Da -da -da. It is right. Keep going. It'll be amazing and you won't regret it. Number four, this is an insider tip that took me a while to figure out, but when people are talking about their boyfriend or girlfriend, their spouse, their fiance, they'll use the word partner. So partner means all of that. So you actually don't know if they're in a serious relationship, in a marriage. You actually have no idea because they'll just say partner because they feel it, it encompasses all types of relationships. But based on that, it's also something to note that you'll find that people, it's not uncommon for people to just actually not be married. They have um, a program, uh, like a, a law here where you can have a de facto relationship after you've been living together for three years, which gives you all of the same, you know, legal and ben, uh, you know, rights like a marriage would um, without being married. So you'll actually find families where even the grandparents aren't married and like the whole aunt and uncles and nobody's married. And so it's like, you don't really know that because they're always talking about them as a partner. And so this was like, I, what do you, <laughs> like you kind of assume that like people that have been together for 50 years or whatever are married. Not necessarily insider tip of the day. Number five, if someone says you're an egg, it's not a compliment. Okay. It's like, you're not the brightest. 
okay? Also, if someone says, hey, can I shout you a coffee? They're not actually gonna yell at you. It's gonna be fine. Shouting you a coffee means I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna get buy it for you or whatever drink that you want. Um, so if someone says, hey, I'm gonna shout you a coffee, you're gonna take them up on that. And number six, now you probably already know that you drive on the left side of the road when you come to New Zealand and most people are very scared about that. In fact, that was probably my biggest fear coming here, but just know that it wasn't that hard. Honestly, I learned very quickly. They don't drive too fast here. The roundabouts really help. You'll be fine. But insider tip, you know how in the States you can take a right on red? Maybe not in all States, but most of the time, right on red, you can't take a left on a red. So you can't take a left on a red. So just know that because a couple times I kind of pulled out. So insider tip and driving on the left side of the road. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please comment below any of your other insider tips. So I didn't cover everything because I'm not trying to make this video forever long, but comment below what you think you would like to share to people traveling or moving or visiting New Zealand, just so they know, so they get the insider tips. I would love for you to do that and I will see you guys next week.